Hey yo, welcome on back all my overloader friends. Thank you for joining me on another video of Planet Coaster 2, where we are doing the final update uh, before the release of tomorrow, November 6th, 2024. So, um, we are going to be talking about the uh, latest update that we have from Frontier on what they're working on and what to expect in future updates. Um, now, I know a lot of content creators got uh, two weeks early access to the game. Unfortunately, I was not one of the lucky ones. So in this episode, we're also going to talk about how the live stream is going to go tomorrow. It's still going to happen, but uh, a little things will still change slightly, but uh, it's still pretty much going to be the same. But before we get into it, I do like to thank all of my subscribers, every new subscriber that's come in, the viewers that are that are viewing this, everyone who's engaged in this video and all my other videos. Thank you all so, so much. You all truly rock, and I, I do greatly appreciate it. So now, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? So, we have tomorrow so close uh, before... Um, we get our hands on it uh, now with Frontier as we can see here they did post up a few things and uh, the first thing that we have here is does the guest caps also apply to the PC um, and um, you know and if it does you know is it going to uh, be removed later on in future updates the the cap limit of 6,000 so as of right now, there is a cap limit for guests at 6,000, and that's to help best um, give the best experience uh, and performance uh, for everyone to be able uh, to play uh, at launch uh, of the game. So that's understandable. I can see why they're doing that. They are going to be looking into it, taking a look at the hardware feedback and uh, and the player feedback, and see how. Um, you know, if they can increase it or maybe even remove it for PC. But now a lot of the content creators that I watched, because I did watch some of the videos, but I made sure not to watch the career mode because I want to keep that as a surprise. But um, I did watch some of the content creators and when they put the guests in and they had the limit up to 6,000, they were saying, oh, this you know it seems pretty small you know it doesn't seem like there's there's a lot of guests but I looked down at the counter and every time I could have sworn I saw no more than a little over 2,000 maybe like 2,100 something uh, so they never actually fully got up to 6,000 and if that is the case so far with everyone that's done it then I would say 6,000 should be pretty good for the launch of the game right now as it stands since we're all going to be getting used to the game especially for us pc players the uh the actual uh ui for for us pc is is different from the first game as well as even from planet zoo if, if you've played either one of them so uh it's going to take some time for us to get used to the new mechanics of it um and so I think over time they'll see that we can go ahead and start handling more and they'll they'll go ahead and open that up but as of right now with what I've seen if that was only 2000 that's not half bad cuz we still got four more thousand that can still enter into the park. So uh I will be testing that and seeing um you know uh, I'm trying to get it up to the full 6000 and see exactly what it looks like when it's fully at 6000 but I'm thinking their parks might have been too small and that's why they didn't get more or, you know over that 2000 uh mark really so um that's my guess since I haven't been able to actually get my physical hands on it yet so uh, the next thing is about the uh, Frontier Workshop. Uh, so basically, it's going to be just like the uh, Steam Workshop page. Um, you'll be able to download um, blueprints and upload blueprints uh, for rides, um, parks. Um, and so you'll be able to share those across the platforms, though, since it's going to be on the Frontier Workshop. Uh, and it's going to be uh, cross-platform uh, capable there. So, uh, and they'll be able to be used in the franchise mode as well as in sandbox mode as well. Uh, now, when it comes to the parks, I do know that there will be a limit. I could not seem to find the limit for that one as of right now, what it's going to be. 
But there will be a limit for us PC players if we are going to be taking the um, uh, park and wanting uh, console players to be able to uh, experience that park. Because they, they can only have so many pieces in their park uh, before it's full and, and they can't add anything else into it. Otherwise their performance will suffer. So um, <clears throat> there's supposed to be a setting for us to toggle back and forth for that to tell us when we're hitting that limit if we're going to be sharing it for console players as well. Now, you console players, you're going to go ahead and still have, obviously, that setting that's just going to be automatically on, and you can go up to 100%, and it won't affect us on PC, so we'll still be able to experience that for you. But I am definitely excited to see some of you console players uh, work. Um, I've seen some of them from some, some a few content creators that make console um, uh, creations on YouTube, um, and they are amazing they, they do some of the spotlights um and uh iron maddie i love his uh his work his streams he's great um a phenomenal consult um uh planet uh player there i have to say um so shout out to iron maddie uh check him out uh if you haven't already but um he, he he shows off some amazing parks that you all have done so i'm really excited myself to be able to experience some of your creations um because you all you all can get pretty brilliant because you you were limited you didn't get all the same pieces as what we got on on pc um <clears throat> and you know you there's you know different features and stuff like that so um and some of the creations i saw were you know people were making stuff off of like the the ps4 um, and, um, uh, I think Iron Maddie was saying at one point that it was so good that they can only imagine what it would be like if it was on the PS5. Um, so I'm, I'm really curious to, to, to walk through those parks, uh, personally on my system and, 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 and experience it. Um, so, uh, the next thing though, that we have <coughs> that they, uh, informed us of of updates was on uh, custom music sounds and uh, billboards for in-game um, and if those will be added back in <clears throat> now if I remember correctly you all on console uh, weren't able to import your own music um, sounds or videos or images in so you didn't have the the billboards but uh, on PC, we were able to do that so we could take the billboards and put in our own advertisement, essentially. And then we could add in our own music for our coasters and rides. So um, it does, though, they, they did say, though, that they are uh, working on it and that will be a feature in a future update. So uh, and the fact that this is all cross play, that means you console players should be able to do it as well. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it but I, I hey I'm happy that you guys are finally going to be able to have that feature if I am correct let me know in the comments below if I'm if I'm wrong and if you guys actually did have that feature but from what I remember when I did play years and years ago on console it um, it did not have that feature so uh, but yeah I, I'm, I'm excited for that coming back and and uh, to see what you you console players are able to do uh, the next thing that we have is, uh, will loading and unloading stations be added? And they said, yes, that is going to be a future update uh, because the coasters and rides are the heart of Planet Coaster 2. Uh, and so they, they will be introducing the load and unload stations. Now, I figured that they would at some point, considering the fact we do have transport rides that have multiple stations, so you should be able to do a load and unload station quite simply uh, at least in my head uh, you know I'm not a game developer but uh, you know I figured it shouldn't be too difficult uh, so <clears throat> we will be getting that in a future update uh, until the meantime uh, I'll sh I'm going to show you on uh, probably on the sandbox part of the stream where um, how you can basically make your own unload and and loading station until we we actually get the the separate stations added on so looking forward to that 
Uh, next question was, will rides uh, with uh, built-in decorations have uh, vanilla versions uh, as well? So that way we can decorate those. Uh, so like the, the junior ride that, that has the dragon head on the coaster or the... Um, the, the jet ride that, that that looks like a jet you know those ones there they're, they're, they will have a vanilla that's a another future update that we'll be getting but um, that including some of the the coaster uh, the coaster cars uh, they'll uh, they'll have a vanilla version so you can you can decorate your own as well and then the last thing was um, will there uh, will you be able to play uh, planet coaster 2? on the portable steam deck now there's a, a video unfortunately the first recording i did the audio got merged together and everything it got all messed up so now i'm like doing this separately i'll try and add the video in so that way you can actually see it but in case if i don't um it just shows uh, uh rich um uh, playing the uh planet coaster 2 on his steam deck um, and then at the end of it, it shows the verified with a green check mark. So you will be able to play this on your Steam Deck. Rich? Yeah? What are you doing? Playing Planet Coaster 2. Um, and that's the last of those updates that we have from Frontier. Uh, now you all do have until uh, basically tomorrow uh, before the game is released. I know for me it's uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. But I would say, you know, do it as soon as possible if you want to pre-order. Now normally I don't pre-order stuff. Uh, but with this game, I did because I love it so much. Uh, the Planet Coaster series and... and um, and Frontier hasn't done me wrong yet with their games. Yes, <clears throat> they release, you know, a little eh, but it's still nice and, and smooth and, and, and playable and um, enjoyable. And they're constantly always updating and improving and listening to the community, as we can see here, and taking our concerns and letting us know, yes, we hear you and... We are working on that, and we're going to take care of it. And I love it. I really do. I really love that a lot. So um, <clears throat> you still have time to be able to pre-order and get the, the, the three rides, which is the Cube, a uh, Water Coaster, and then the uh, Conveyor Belt uh, Haunted Mansion type of ride. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, those come with the pre-order. Now, I heard some content creators say that – or I heard one, I, and unfortunately I can't remember their name, but um, they said that you could pay for that separately in a separate like DLC kind, kind of a package. I haven't heard that from Frontier or any of the devs personally, so I don't know about that. What I have heard is, though, if you bought like the standard, then you'll be able to do the deluxe upgrade DLC package later on if you wanted to. Uh, so you can still get those rides, but if you want the three, because you get six rides with that, with the vintage uh, pack. But if if you uh, plus some coasters too, along with that, but six flat rides. But uh, as you can see with this image here, but for the three coast or the two coasters and the one flat ride that you get for the uh, pre-order, that though, as far as I know, you can only get that with the pre-order. So. It's up to you if that's something that you don't want to miss out on or you don't mind risking it and seeing if maybe, you know, it will be different, you know, available later on down the road. Uh, so that that's your choice. Uh, obviously, a lot of content creators have had access to the game so far for two weeks. They've been releasing some content so you can see how it is. You can see their opinion and their objective and, and how they feel about it. Um, so I would say go off by if it feels right for you. Um, and if you want to pre-order it, pre-order it. That's great. If not, you know, you can wait. You can watch me on my stream and see how it is. And then you can always order it later on uh, if you feel that it's right for you. Uh, now, for the stream uh, tomorrow, I will be doing it at uh, 730 
uh, in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we are going to start off with, um, with the sandbox mode. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the pieces because I haven't seen all the pieces yet. I've tried to not watch too much of the content creation because I wanted to be somewhat surprised and allow you guys to see my general reaction of of how it is and, and, and how I'm enjoying it. And I made sure to stay away from all career mode um, videos. So um, that is completely, you know off to me except for the little bit that we did get to see um <clears throat> leading up you know before before we knew that they had the early access so uh during the deep dives and so forth so um so that's that's the only little bit that i've seen there uh otherwise the whole career mode you know i i haven't i haven't checked out um and then, uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to do that uh, after the sandbox mode and checking out a few things, testing out the pathing system. And and and, um, and there's also uh, uh, something I want to test out with the, the, the slides going just into a pool. I know you can close them to make it, you know, so that way they, they, they just go down the side and come back up. But then the pools will reopen on their own. That might just be a bug that they'll fix probably you know tomorrow day on a day one patch or later on down the road uh, but there is a few little things that I want to try because I did notice a few things uh, that I want to see if it works or not uh, to keep people from going into the pool even after it opens and then getting them out of the pool once they go down the slide and they don't stay in and just swim around so I'm going to uh, test out my theory there and see if it works. So make sure you join me to see if it works. And if I was able to work around a potential bug that's in the, in the game right now. Um, and then after the sandbox mode, like I said, we'll, we'll go to career mode. And uh, we're going to uh, at least get through that tutorial section. And, um, and before we even get through the... It, you know, and so after we get through the tutorial section, uh, we might do a little bit more there, uh, and then I might even then go back into sandbox mode to work on our first park, uh, which uh, it will be a Greek theme. Uh, so we'll start off with Greek. Eventually, I want to expand it out into the other themes, um, and we'll add it on you know to it so the first section is going to be where they enter into the park it's going to be the greek uh mytholo mythological theme and then uh and then it will eventually transfer into viking theme um so that that's my plan uh for the stream to start roughly around 7 30 in the morning because i'll have access at 7 a.m and then uh as soon as the game is fully done downloading and fully done installing I'm going to start the stream and get going on to it. And I want to try and go until, you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night, uh, p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, and then um, I'll probably do another stream the next day and so forth down the road uh, for the first uh, few days uh, as we get through the career mode and working through the sandbox uh, mode as well. So uh, make sure you uh, like this video if you liked it. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you know when new content is coming out and make sure that bell icon is lit up and marked always and uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow no Wednesday November 6 2024 at 7 30 in the morning Pacific Standard Time for the live stream of Planet Coaster 2's official release that we have been waiting for for so long and I just want to thank you all again for your support, uh, for your engagements that you've done on my videos. You all truly do rock, and I really do appreciate it. And I really hope to see you all tomorrow. And I really hope that this game that we have been waiting for for so long, some of you much longer than me, turns out to be exactly as we hoped for. Um, obviously, there's going to be some some changes some differences but uh overall though i feel from what i've seen so far that the devs have really put their heart into it and they've really listened to the community 
And so um, I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, again, thank you all again. And I'll see you all tomorrow next time in reality.